This integral looks quite simple, but it hides a beautiful secret. Attempting to solve it with standard methods like integration by parts leads to a dead end. We're going to need a much more elegant approach. Our challenge is to evaluate the definite integral of the natural log of sine of x from 0 to pi over 2. Let's call this integral i. We will start by defining our integral as the variable i. The key to this puzzle is a powerful property of definite integrals, sometimes called the king's rule. This rule states that the value of a definite integral is unchanged if we replace the variable x with the sum of the limits of integration minus x. Let's apply this to our integral. Here, a is 0 and b is pi over 2, so a plus b minus x becomes pi over 2 minus x. Applying the rule, we replace x with pi over 2 minus x inside the sine function. Now, we can use the trigonometric cofunction identity, which states that sine of pi over 2 minus x is equal to cosine of x. This gives us a second, equally valid expression for our integral i. Since we have two different expressions for the same value i, what happens if we add them together? Adding i to itself, we get 2i equals the sum of our two integrals. Since the limits of integration are the same, we can combine them into a single integral. Now we use the logarithm property that states the sum of logs is the log of the product. This simplifies our integrand to the natural log of sine of x times cosine of x. This expression is very close to the double angle identity for sine. Recall that sine of 2x equals 2 sine x cosine x. By rearranging the identity, we can substitute sine of 2x divided by 2 into our integral. Next, we use another logarithm property. The log of a quotient is the difference of the logs. This allows us to split our integral into two separate, simpler integrals. The second integral is straightforward. Since natural log of 2 is a constant, the integral evaluates to pi over 2 times the natural log of 2. Substituting this result back, our equation now looks like this. We're getting closer, but we still need to solve the remaining integral. Let's focus on this last piece of the puzzle using a substitution. We'll use a u substitution, letting u equal 2x. This means dx is equal to du over 2. Crucially, we must also change our limits of integration. The lower limit remains 0, but the upper limit becomes pi. After substitution, our integral becomes one half of the integral from zero to pi of the natural log of sine of u. To solve this, we use another property of definite integrals. If a function is symmetric around the midpoint a, then the integral from zero to two a is just twice the integral from zero to a. In our case, the interval is from zero to pi, so two a is pi and a is pi over two. Let's check if our function, natural log of sine of u, satisfies the condition. We need to evaluate the function at p a minus u. Using the trigonometric identity, sine of pi minus an angle is equal to the sine of the angle itself. Therefore, our function satisfies the symmetry condition. This allows us to apply the property, rewriting the integral from 0 to pi, as twice the integral from 0 to pi over 2. And look at that. This resulting integral is exactly our original integral i. The variable of integration, whether it's u or x, doesn't change the value of the definite integral. So our entire expression simplifies beautifully. The integral of natural log of sine of 2x from 0 to pi over 2 is miraculously equal to i. Now we have all the pieces. Let's assemble the final answer. We return to our main equation and replace the complicated integral with our simplified result, i. Now it's just a matter of simple algebra. We subtract i from both sides. This isolates i on the left side of the equation. 
and we are left with the stunning final result. Let's visualize this result. The function natural log of sine of x is always negative between 0 and pi over 2, so we expect a negative area. Here is the graph of our function. It plunges to negative infinity as x approaches 0, which makes this an improper integral. The definite integral represents the area bounded by this curve and the x-axis. This shaded region represents the value of our integral. Despite the function going to infinity, the area is finite. And the exact value of this area is negative pi over 2 times the natural log of 2. A beautiful solution to a beautiful problem. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed exploring this elegant calculus puzzle, please give this video a like and subscribe for more mathematical insights. See you in the next one.